All right, so I thought I'd do a video on my remove Windows AI script uh, because there's a lot of other scripts and apps and stuff on uh, GitHub that claim to uninstall AI and disable it and all that, uh, but there's a lot of stuff that they're leaving out. So I'm going to go through that uh, today and then I'll show how it really should look when it's been removed. Um, so to to get to my script, it's really simple. You literally can just Google remove Windows AI. It should be the first one that comes up. Um, and it's, it's super simple to run. You can just copy this and run it in PowerShell. Uh, but first, um, I want to talk about some other scripts and stuff that don't work. Uh, so WinUtil, this is trash um, just in general, but uh, it's there's like one option that disables recall and it's it's like one line that uninstalls the uh, the optional feature uh, which is pretty useless because it's there's way more stuff than just that so yeah that's uh, not an option uh, this Windows 11 D bloat script is a little bit better he has um, he has some other like some different ones in here, like for the registry, um, like at least he has like edge stuff, uh, like paint AI, all that stuff, um, which obviously my, my script had way before these were added, but regardless, um, this won't uninstall all the uh, AI stuff. It, he just has the registry keys, uh, which is a, at least better than when util because WinUtil doesn't have any of that stuff. So anyways, um, in terms of the uninstallers, I'll go through that real quickly. Um, the uh, oh no, shut up 10 has an option to remove it here, uh, but it simply just uninstalls like, um, like just the regular Copilot, 365 Copilot. Like, I mean, literally, you can you can do this yourself. Like, you can just right click and uninstall it. So you don't need an app to do this. So, um, so yeah, this is this is pretty useless. It applies those same like group policy keys everyone knows about. Um, Revo uninstaller. Oh, that's a setup. Uh, it wouldn't even show like the, the hidden. AI packages. So, like, if you go to Windows apps, it'll only show. It shows the ones that you can uninstall normally. Um, so I guess it's a little bit better if you wanted to use this, because at least it would clean up like some of the registry keys. Um, but it doesn't show like the the locked ones. So the bulk crap uninstaller, which is like basically the same thing, but open source, it does show. The, uh, the locked packages. So like, for example, click to do, that's a core AI, um, but you can't uninstall it. So even if you, you know, try to uninstall it here, um, just continue through these, it'll, uh, it'll give a failed error code. So yeah, that won't work either. Um, so yeah, same thing. I mean, you can uninstall the regular ones, but you can't get rid of the the protected packages like recall and stuff like that. All right, so how to actually remove Windows AI. Um, we're just going to use the UI option, but you can, um, if you want to integrate this into like a scheduled task or just run it without the UI. Um, I have different command line options, so you don't have to deal with the UI. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, I'll do it with the, the UI. So we'll just run PowerShell as admin, and we'll just paste that in. So it'll open up the, uh, the UI here. Um, you have all these different options, and uh, you can see what they do But the question mark, of course. Um, if you think that you're going to eventually want to revert this, uh, for whatever reason, make sure you enable backup mode. Um, and then obviously 
if you want to revert something, you can enable revert mode and then whichever ones are selected will be reverted. So um, yeah, we'll just run it with all these options. All right, so now that we've ran that, we've restarted. Um, I'll just show in here. Uh, you can see that, like, click to do. Um, it's not there anymore. Let's see under C. There's no click to do. Uh, so that got uninstalled. Um, any of the other locked ones will have gotten uninstalled here too. Um, and then just. I didn't have the uh, the backup option, but just so that you know, um, the backup files and everything will be created here in your uh, user folder. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you enable the backup option and you see something here. All right, so I'm back on a stock virtual machine. Uh, this is without running the script. I just wanted to show some of the more like hidden AI features. Um, that most people definitely don't know about. So first, there's these packages in uh, the component-based servicing. So these are like update packages. Um, most of these in here are hidden, so the visibility is set to two. So if you were to do like dism forward slash git dash packages, um, or the, the PowerShell equivalent of git dash windows packages. Uh, these would be hidden because the visibility is two. Um, if you, you can unhide these if you set the visibility to one, I believe it is, and you delete these, this owner's key. But uh, yeah, so that's how you can uninstall these. But the problem is uh, if you were to update windows or uh, run like a DISM health check or something like that, uh, these would get reinstalled. Uh, so that's why the script installs a custom package that basically tells Windows that these um, these already exist on the system and there's already a newer version installed. So when Windows update or DISM checks, it'll think that there's already a newer version on the system and they won't get reinstalled. So yeah, there's these copilot ones there. Uh, there's some recall ones. So on most systems, these aren't gonna be used at all just because you have to have a copilot plus PC to use most of these things. Um, so it should be down here at the bottom. Uh, so yeah, so recall package. AIX is another one. I'm not sure exactly what AIX is for. It might be a part of recall or something else. Uh, but there's that. Um, there's a service I don't think many people know about. Um, this AI fabric. Um, I'm not even sure exactly what this is for. I think it's for um, like AI search results in here or the uh, on Copilot Plus PCs, there's a AI settings agent here. Uh, it could be something with that, I'm not sure. So there's that. Um, there is, uh, there's only one package on this system, but there's some locked AI AppX packages. So for example, this core AI one we saw earlier, um, that was click to do. So that's part of like recall and all that. Um, so you can see here it's non-removable, uh, which the script uses some tricks to get rid of that property and uninstall these. Um, and then finally, uh, there's a JSON file that allows you to enable or disable um, EU special options. So people that are in the EEA have different uh, Windows settings so like Edge can be uninstalled and stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of copilot policies so like here's one um, there's just there's lots of different copilot settings in here. There's also some recall ones so A9 is Microsoft's like 
uh, I don't know, alias for recall. Um, so A9, that's to do with recall. There's another one down here. And there's also the settings agent, which is the AI searching and settings. So yeah, uh, the script will disable um, these as well. So yeah, there's lots of other ones. I'm not going to go through all, everything. Uh, you can look at the script. It's it's extremely extensive. Um, I've collected every registry key. I've thoroughly searched through Windows. Um, so yeah, pretty much I'm only missing like being able to really look at a Copilot Plus PC just because I don't have one. Um, but besides that, it's pretty extensive. So yeah.